complete natin si Lord. Amen. At pasalamat sa for God, for the glorious praise and worship simula sa Luke 4, 18 and 19, sa ating opening prayer, at sa reading of uh, the scripture. Amen. And now, ayan, so introduce na po natin, amen, that we are privileged and blessed today as we will hear the word of God. Amen. So through the anointed woman of God from Wi-Fi World Harvest International, Hallelujah! Let us give a warm welcome to Reverend Dr. Mylin Valerio. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon sa kanyang buhay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for choosing a beautiful photo of me. <laughs> Hallelujah. First of all, of course, uh, this is an opportunity and I am so honored to be here with you, beautiful people of God. And uh, of course, giving thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ and to our friend, Pastor Don. I know he's there in Zoom, Pastor Lalan and our dear Bishop Ted. They are, uh, you know, love ple friends ni Pastor Ricky, coffee body ni Pastor Ricky and golf body. So, ako po yung pinadala ni Pastor Ricky. The, actually, the invitation is for Pastor Ricky. Pero dahil nagpiprepare po si Pastor Ricky mamaya sa ating worship service, pagtsagaan niyo po muna ako. <laughs> okay. So, it's been a while. Uh, after pandemic, ngayon lang namin kayo nakita ulit. Yung iba nakikita namin kalat-kalat sa Riga, sa Metro, sa Night Market. And uh, some of you we have seen in our uh, recent conference. And thank you so much for always uh, giving your support to your pastor. And uh, sino po dito yung mga VIP for today? Yung, it's your first time to be here. Magtas pa na kamay at can you please acknowledge them? Can you please rise up? Why don't you give them a round of applause? Tayo po kayo, tayo po kayo. On your... Okay, yan. Para po maka-recognize namin kayo. So, salamat po. Sino po yung nag-invite? Tayo naman yung mga nag-invite. Yung mga magigiting na nag-invite. Okay. You are very much welcome po sa ating uh, simbahan, JCTD. This is the Gospel Community. Well, as they have introduced, I am Pastora Mylene Valerio. Okay. I am the one and only wife of <laughs> Pastor Ricky. Uh, they call him DRRV. Hashtag DRRV. You search, you will see all his... Uh, Ano, mga tagline po na napipick up para sa kanya. And we are from your gospel community friends. Uh, why, we call ourselves Wi-Fi winners. Why? We came from Wi-Fi World Harvest International. Amen. So, napakabuti po ng Panginoon because this pandemic, okay, has brought us, okay, into a place that we never thought that we could be. Before Pastor Rigi, so, you know, limited in the physical activity, he is a very old school, you know, a style sa kanya pong uh, ministry. He doesn't like any spotlight, any social media, but, you know, our media keeps on pushing Pastor Rigi. Why don't we go for live, blah, blah, blah. But then, nung, during pandemic, hindi na po siya naka-escape. Kailangan po tayong mag-online at nasa YouTube na rin po siya. If you would like to see and be blessed with his uh, preaching, you can also see our YouTube channel, My Fire World Harvest International. Nag-plug pa eh, no? <laughs> Nag-plug pa. Amen. Okay, so I was given the topic, okay, and a text, which is written in John chapter 8, verse 12. Usually when I am going to preach, I don't have... You know, I, I was, I'm not given the, the text or the topic, okay? But uh, this time, I think you believe, I believe that you have a series. Is that so? Yes. So, I was given the topic, the light. So, when I receive this, I keep on asking the Lord, Lord, let me speak for your people. Speak for your people. Amen? Then let the Holy Spirit speak to each and every one of you. Kahit po yung mga nandoon sa labas. Amen. Sana'y naririnig tayo mga nandun sa labas. Okay. Tingin nyo naririnig nila tayo. Amen. Salamat sa Lord. Alam ko hindi na sila magkasya dito. Okay. This place is so small for you. Right? Because you're growing. You know, when I was still working in a secular, 
Okay, by the way, I just resigned from my work last January 20 was my last day in my company. Hindi pa 45 minutes lang daw ako eh, pero hindi pa nag-start kasi hindi pa ako nagpo-preach, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me just uh, tell you a little bit of my testimony, you know, and may it inspire every one of you. I was working in uh, one of the prestigious number one company in the GCC in terms of developer, which is MR properties. They, are, they own the tallest building in the world. When you say Imar, they are, it's equivalent to Dubai because they are mostly, most of the iconic places here in Dubai were built by Imar properties. And I was privileged to work there. I was privileged to work there and I am not just holding a small position. I was given by the Lord a middle management position where I'm also doing uh, decision making in my own small area, you know, <laughs> in a small area because MR Property is a big company. I was working in uh, MR Community Management. But then the Lord asked me three years ago as I worship Him, and He said to me, Walk on water. Walk on water. And then I just put down my hand and said, Lord, I'm not ready because I know what He meant when He said to me, Walk on water. So a normal thinking will not just simply follow that voice, right? But as I go every day, as I come every day in my work, it's just like, para ang sikip-sikip na ng mundo sa akin sa lugar na yun. And then, because of my stubbornness, yes, sometimes pastors are also stubborn, you know? <laughs> Especially their convenience, and sometimes when you are being normal, you are being stubborn. So, tignan mo ngayon katabi mo kung normal yan. Okay? Baka mamaya may stubbornness din yan. Amen? So, being a normal person, you know, acting in a normal way, I put down my hands, and then I said, Lord, I'm not ready. I'm receiving every year family status ticket. Whether I go or not, I'll have my ticket. I have a furniture allowance, and I have a 51,000 a year allowance for the educational of my children. And I have full family health insurance. And my salary is not small. I will not tell you the amount. <laughs> Amen. But the finance will be able to know. But they cannot make out because we give more than 10%. Amen. So those are the things. And I began to count. Para ko si David. I began to count and see. I told Pastor Ricky, this is my salary every month. This is the equivalent of my salary every month. So I don't know if Pastor Ricky perceived what I'm trying to say there. But I'm already struggling inside because I heard the voice within me. And then I said to Lord, hindi ako ready. Every day, he keeps on reminding me until the, vo the voice subsided. Hindi ko na siya naririnig. And I got bothered because I, a woman of God, I always hear the voice of God every day, every single minute of my life. I hear him talking. It's like the, it is true that the proverb says that wisdom calls out on the street, everywhere else. The wisdom is calling out. Do you hear the wisdom everywhere? Amen. Amen. So that's what happened. And then after three years, we held this encounter okay it's a prominent uh, you know uh, term they use EGR but it's an encounter weekend and during that encounter I heard the voice of God once again so loud so clear so vivid and I knew that I knew that he's really talking to me and after that EGR I stepped in my office and I can see all the people. Hindi na sila yung literal na mga tao nakakita ko. Hindi ka awa. Hindi ko nakaawa yung bosko. I see them. They're going to hell. I see them as a soul. I see them as a spirit. And then that voice keeps on telling me, "You don't belong here anymore. You don't belong here anymore." And I don't want to miss that voice. That voice is more important than this twenty-five, thirty thousand dirhams a month. Then it's close, ko na, no? <laughs> that voice is more important for me. And I said, Lord, I don't want to lose this. Let me just have this. I want to live a life that you wanted me to be. I wanted to be in the place that you wanted me. Take care of my children. Parang mamamatay na ako, no? Sabi ko, Lord, take care of my children. Di ba parang nagpapakamatay, no? Giving up that salary, that benefit. 
And then after a month, sabi ko, dapat ganito ang araw, nagsusweldo na ako. Alam mo, umaasa ka by faith talaga. Lord, itouch mo ang puso ng mga tao. Mag-touch talaga sila. Mag-offering sila. Hindi lang yung mga tao ang tinatouch ng Lord. Kailangan ipag-pray mo pa yung mga nasa treasury, nasa finance. Lord, mahusay silang mag-budget. At itouch mo yung puso nila na i-release nila. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord did not fail us. And even now from January, the Lord never failed us. And in fact, that educational allowance that I supposed to have, it was given as a scholarship for my daughter. Amen. Um, isn't God amazing? Isn't God amazing? So you cannot outgive Lord the Lord, you know. You cannot outgive the Lord. If you're walking in the light, if you hear this voice time and again, every day, single minute of your life, you are very conscious that the Holy Spirit is inside of me. That the Holy Spirit is inside of me and He is alive and He's talking to me and you don't ignore him, surely, my dear friends, you will hear his voice. And you will hear the clear instruction of the Lord. Because those who has the light, they have the wisdom. They have the word. The word that we have received, our Lord Jesus Christ, is alive in us. And he keeps on telling us and giving us word also. Amen. That word, that wisdom gives us strong judgment in each and every decision that we make. So now, I don't know why I need to testify this in the beginning of my preaching. But I am here to tell you, if the Lord is asking you to step forward, do so. As long as that you know that you know that it is from the Lord. Then I keep on asking the Lord, Lord, is it really, is it really your decision? Is it really the voice that I heard, Lord? Because I can see the Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa is always at my, you know, what is it? Back, what is it? Like a frame, what is it? In the back of my office, because I'm always there. 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 Because I'm And the Lord revealed to me, Burj Khalifa is just behind you. Amen. Panglikod lang talaga siya. I just use that, okay, for you to build your influence so that my name will be preached. Amen. Praise the Lord. So the Lord has put you where you are now, a strategic place for Him to mold you. Amen. So now, isipin mo na, Lord, ano yung susunod kong hakbang? Why I am here? Amen po ba? Amen. You know, one pastor says, Pastora, alam mo ba yung, yung mga pants, di ba? Pag 32 yung pants mo, at lumaki ka, naging 34 ang waistline mo, iluluwa ka ng pants mo. Amen po ba? So, ganun ang nangyari, sabi niya. Masyado ka nang lumaki. Hindi ka nakasya sa company niya na yan. Hindi ka kaya ng i-contain ng company niya yan. Kaya inilabas ka ng Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah. Why? Because we are called for world harvest. If I did not resign from my work, hindi po may establish siguro. I believe so. Kasi hindi ko papayagan si Pastor Ricky mag-live ng two months sa Pilipinas. And last, last uh, two, two months ago, July, August, we went there. And we have done the first ever encounter in the Philippines. Okay? Nag-gathered yun from different places of the Philippines. Yung iba nag-barko pa. At na-establish po yung dalawang churches sa Pilipinas. And this coming November, we are going to Italy to do the... October. October, we're going to do the encounter there. Amen? So magkakaroon po ng Wi-Fi win Italy. Amen? Kaya hindi ako kasha dito sa UAE. Kasi pang worldwide tayo. Amen? Sabi mo sa katawag mo, pang worldwide ka! Hallelujah. Come on, let us pray. Start na kayong 45 minutes. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you so much, O Lord, for your love, for your kindness, Holy Spirit. I know that you are in our midst. You are upon us. You are inside of us. And you are always a God to each and every one of us. You speak to us. Yes, your servant as your footstool. Let me not say the word that has not come from you. Thank you, Jesus, for your loving kindness. Bless your people, O oh God, through your word, through your servant. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 
Thank you, Jesus. Salamat po sa nag-park ng aking sasakyan. Pawan reminds me of my boss, my favorite boss. His name is also Pawan. Thank you for parking my car and thank you for my beautiful three angels here, Pastor Angie and Sister Annalyn with her beautiful daughter. They are, uh, Pastor Angie and Sister Annalyn are one of my primaries. Amen. Mag-wave naman kayo na, so that they will recognize you. Amen. Amen. So John chapter 8, verse 12, in the New King James Version, it says, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness. Sabi natin, not walk in darkness. But have the light of life. In NLT version, it says, Jesus spoke to the people once more and, I, and said, I am the light of the world. If, okay, sa NLT, dahil ito ay translated version, ang sabi niya, if you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness. Because, Ang ganda ng translation ng NLT, talagang ini-explain niya sa atin why you will not walk in darkness. Because you will have the light that leads to life. First, we have to understand what is light. Light is this. We will not be able to see each other. Okay? Kapag walang light. Light illuminates everything. It's shining. It's blaze. It's set on fire. Glow. And so bright. At nakikita natin, sino na po dito nakaranas na nagpa-facial? Dahil sa saliliit na mga blackheads and whiteheads, kailangan nilang itutok yung illuminated light para lumakita yung very single spot. So, I would like to understand that when uh, there is light, okay, you can see everything. You can see imperfection and you can see perfection. Amen po ba? And generally speaking, light serves as a symbol of life, Okay? Pag sinabi nilang light, oh, it talks about life. It's happiness. It's prosperity. Right? And uh, it's perfect being. Right? So, kahit na ano pang ganda ng mga sculptures, labahat na mga ano dyan, kung hindi lalagyan ng light, hindi makikita. Di ba may mga designs na it will really gives and add when there is add the beauty when there is illumination. Amen? Kaya mga Pilipino, Mahilig yan silang magpa-kojik, magpa-inject ng kung ano-ano para lang maging lighter ang kanilang mga skin. Amen po ba? And even, you know, those who are in, in West, they have a little freckle, so they use lightning cream para lang ma-ano yun. So, everybody is aiming for light, right? But the thing is, it's sometimes facade and cosmetics. Okay? Jesus says also in John 14, 6, He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We have said that light gives life. Right? So even if the beautiful chandelier, kung hindi mo yan sisindihan ang kanyang light, there's no life on that chandelier. So meaning to say, light we could say life. That's why ang sabi nung last line natin, that it will lead you to light. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 15, In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. The earth was formless and empty. Parang yung mga wallet ng iba. Formless and empty. <laughs> Amen. And darkness covered the deep waters. Di ba? Darkness ng mga utang. Okay? Ng mga babayarin. Ng mga uh, tuition fees. Ng mga lahat ng mga bills. But this is the good thing about this verse. It says, And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from darkness. God called the light day and darkness night. So in Genesis, the light talks about the light is the day. And we know that during the day, we can do lots of things. We are reproductive. We are working. When you say light, it talks about day. So we're not in day. day. Why? Because on the day, we work. 
Okay? We are alive. We are exercising. We are doing our devotion. We are reading our Bible. We are worshiping. And while you are working, you are worshiping. Amen po ba? And then, he separated darkness to night. Which is his co he called night. So, ang darkness is the night. And we have seen the last of passage that darkness talk about the night. And in the night, the devil okay, is coming. Sino po dito ang gusto ng gabi? Magtaas ng kamay. Lalo ng bata ka. Gusto mo ba ng gabi? Ako, ayoko. Kasi pag, pag gabi na, hindi na ako makakapaglaro. Pag, alam mo kasi, bago magtakip silim, dapat nasa bahay na kami. So, mas marami kang nagagawa kapag day. And even Joshua, he asked for the sun to stay still because he asked for the day. Everyone wanted the day. Right? A day of Everyone would like to have a day off. So even in the beginning, in Genesis, God already separated the light and the darkness. God is so organized. And before He has created all the creations, He had created and instructed first the light to come out. So ibig sabihin pala, we will not be able to accomplish anything unless there is light. Kahit na anong gawin mong pagpupursigi sa buhay mo, kahit na anong gawin mo pang, you know, business, endeavor mo, kausapin mo pa lahat ng mga millionaires at mga tycoon na yan, you will never succeed unless there is light. You will not accomplish anything unless there is light. Ang problema, you know, maraming mga kristyano, si Lord, pinag-separate na yung darkness to light, mga kristyano, pinag halo halo pa. Alam mo yung kapag nasa church, during the daytime of their life, they are so holy, holy. And during the whole week, they are living in night. Alam mo yung para silang nasa nightclub, pag magdamit sa labas, makita mo sa ano. Tapos pag nakita si pastor, may nakahanda na silang shawl. <laughs> okay? Pero habang naglalakad, they are, kahit na daylight, they are living in darkness. Darkness of relationship. Darkness in work. Amen? Dapat, ang mga kristyano merong light, lagi silang nabubuhay sa daylight. Amen po ba? So, sabihin mo sa atin, huwag mong ipagsama. Okay? Pinaghiwalay na yan ng Lord, ang light at saka ang darkness. So, may mga darkness mo sa life mo, declare life. Declare light. Lord, I, Lord, in this wallet, Lord, I speak life. I speak light. Kapag ang asawa mo, nagar siya, laging frowning faces siya, hindi siya pleasant ang kanyang itsura. Sabi, I speak life to your face. I speak life to your face. Let there be light on your face. Amen. Mga relationship, broken relationship, marriage na pa-downfall na, speak life. Because why? The light is in us. Amen? Because when there is light, we are able to see everything. We can do beautiful things. Okay? We can do noble things. But the Lord has given us free will. Somehow, that free will should not be abused. Amen? We have the free will whether you choose to do good or to do bad. Whether you choose light or darkness. Ngayon sa mga ginagawa mo, sa ginagawi mo, pag nasa worship service ka, pag pumupunta ka ng late, no? tapos na yung price and offering bago ka pupunta. O kaya pag nasa zoom ka, laging off yung camera mo kasi parang hindi makita na naglalaba ka pala. O kaya nagtutupi ka ng damit. No? Lagi kang nasa zoom o kaya sa FB para hindi ka mahuli ng, ng leader mo na may mga darkness ka palang tinatago. Amen? Everything that you do, Will God be able to say, and it was good? Diba sabi niya, let there be light. And there was light. And then God says, it was good. So now, with what you are doing, with what you're, you know, you're living, will God tell you, my dear child, it was good. It was very good. Okay? Paano mo mapapasabi kay Lord na, it was good na. You share the word. Okay? May visit visa kang kasama dyan. The Holy Spirit convicted you to help that. Sabi na Lord sa'yo, anak, that was good. It was very good. 
you share the love of Jesus Christ sa mga taong hindi mo kakilala, sasabihin ng Lord sa'yo, anak, that was good. God was very good. Amen? So, can we aim that? That in each and every single minute of our actions, guided by the Holy Spirit, guided by this light, the Lord will gonna tell us, anak, that was good. Amen? So, yung sa katabi mo, that was good. Amen. I will gonna read to you in easy English version kasi ang ganda ng rendition dito. Sabi niya, Jesus spoke to the people again. He said, I am the light of the world. So we are still in the same verse with a different translation, easy English version. It says, I am the light of the world. It's very, very concrete. Okay, Jesus Christ many times always say that I am the light of the world. Even John the Baptist says that he is the light. Okay, anyone who becomes... Kanina, if you follow me, okay? Now, in easy English version, it was really termed what does a person who follow Jesus is. It says, anyone who becomes my disciple. Sabi niya natin, disciple will never walk in the dark. No, he will not. He will have the light that causes people to live. So, dito po sa version na to, must explain what is the purpose of light. Okay? In our life, well, the Lord is just gonna give you light so that you will just shine? For nothing? That would ju- you were just gonna be led by your own self that you were just gonna light your path and so that you can walk and you will not stumble? Of course not. Whenever God gives us something, we are a steward of that. We are always a steward. There is always a purpose. May purpose bakit kami dimples. May purpose bakit maganda ang smile mo. Baka kailangan magamit yan sa assuring, sa mga hospitality that you give smile. May purpose bakit may skillful ka. No, sa media. Kasi gagamitin ka ng Lord. There is always a purpose why God gives us. So there is a purpose why God gave us this light. Amen. Disciple meaning a person who believes and obey Jesus. Amen. So wag nating pagbabaligta rin yun. Someone who wants to learn from Jesus and be like him. Yun po ang ibig sabihin ng disciple. A someone who believes in Jesus Christ and obey him and someone who wanted to learn from Jesus Christ and be like him. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Amen. Amen. So, in this verse, it clearly mentioned that being a disciple of Jesus Christ, we have to cause this light to give life to the people na nai-illuminate natin. Amen po ba? And you know, light gives us focus. Have you seen the what they call stage play, di ba sa stage play, may spotlight silang ginagamit? So that the performer will not be able to see the crowd, they can concentrate on what they are doing. That's one of the purpose of that spotlight, not only to illuminate and spotlight the person who is in the stage, but on the other hand, the person who is performing will be able to do and perform what he needs to perform because he will, he will not be disturbed by the crowd. So when you focus... When you focus your eyes, it says in Hebrews 12 too, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that we set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So this light, that's why the Lord says that I am the light and the light is in us, gives us the focus so that we will not be stumbled with any disturbances of this crowd. If your eyes is focused on the Lord, if your eyes is focused on the light, you will be able to do what the Lord have called you to do. Because you are focused. Amen? So, sabihin niya natin, focus. Focus. Anyone who becomes the disciple of Jesus Christ will never walk in darkness. Everything is in light. Amen? It says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 10 to 16, NLT version I'm going to read. Carefully determine what pleases the Lord. 
Take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, expose them. Hindi po natin kinukonceal ang mga maling gawain. And yes, open rebuke is better than secret crush. Amen? Open rebuke is better than secret love. I say sometimes with my disciple, you know, maghalit ka na sa akin maghalit, I will tell you what is true. I will not sugarcoat anything. Last time, last night, may, may minimentor kami, uh, sabi niya sa akin, kasi po, ang busy niyo ni Reb, eh, kaya hindi ko po, ano. sabi ko, yes, we are, we are busy. I do not deny that we are busy, but we are organized people. If you are just willing to, you know, to speak with us, and you are willing to tell us what you need to tell us, kahit na one week pa yan, bago namin basahin, maghihintay ka, kasi gusto mo talaga. Habi ko, anak, huwag ka nang magdahilan. Naduwag kang sabihin sa amin. Huwag ka nang mag-excuse. Pinatawad ka na eh. Huwag ka nang mag-excuse. What, what is the use of your excuse? Kung mag excuse ka pa, eh, pinatawad ka na. Sasabihin mo rin naman. So, kung gusto mong gumaling talaga, magparibyok ka. Amen. Sabihin mo sa katawin mo, magparibyok ka. Why? Kasi hindi yan kinukonceal. Ang sabi niya sa verse 12, it is shameful even to talk about these things. The ungodly people do in secret. Mm. Sino dito may mga secret? Secret! Amen. Secret relationship, secret bank account, secret number sa mga spouses. Dala-dalawa aga ang number. Amen. Dala-dalawa ang account. Nakala naman nila, hindi sila matutuntun. Di ba? Iniiba-iba, binabaligtad para hindi siya makita ni pastor. Okay? Kala mo, i-hide ka. Ngayon pa naman, nowadays, the, the social media will really expose you. Sabi niya, people that you may know. Di ba? Sa hide sa gusto mo, lilitaw sa people that you may know. Amen? Okay. But their evil intention will be exposed when the light shine on them. Ayun yung sinasabi ko kanina, na ang light, it will expose the sin. That's why when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, dati kung magsinungaling ka, wala lang, okay lang, walang preno. Pero nung ma-receive mo ang light, ma-receive mo ang light ni Jesus Christ, di ba? It illuminates everything. Ay, kasalanan pala to. Akala ko yung white lies, okay lang. Akala ko, sabihin ko, wala ang boss ko pag nandiyan yung mga client, yung mga supplier. Okay lang. Alam mo yon Akala ko, pwede naman na hindi pa for signature pa yung check eh. Kahit na nakasign na, wala lang pondo. Akala ko, okay lang yun. Kasi white lies lang. It's for good naman. Pero ngayon, nang nagka-light ka na, nare-realize mo na mali pala. Who among you, when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, naranasan mo yon na lahat ng mga bagay nakikita mo na, oh, hanggang ngayon, hindi mo pa rin nakikita. Amen? The Lord, this light, the time we are talking about from Jesus Christ will illuminate everything. The good or bad. And the Holy Spirit will convict you and tell you, give you the wisdom. Anak, my child, this is not good. You have to stop this. Amen? So for the light makes everything visible. This is why it says, Awake! A sleeper, rise up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Sikuin mo yung katabi mo, baka natutulog. Amen? Sabi niya, awake! Sabi mo sa kanya, awake! So be careful how you live. It is sinasabi ng verse 15. So be careful, be careful how you live. A disciple is careful on the way they live because they have the light. Amen. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. So ang mga tao pala na nabubuhay sa darkness, they are living like a fool. Amen. Last, in our, in our uh, church, we have this series of wisdom. Okay, we are talking about the wisdom. And one of the indication, a person who is wise, they have discernment. They have a conviction. And they have sound judgment. Na hindi pa bara-bara kung mag Kasi may guidance. Amen? Kasi maingat dahil may iniingatan silang testimony. Amen po ba? Yeah. Make the most of 
every opportunity in these evil days. Especially nowadays, we're talking about last days, last days, no? May mga ganito ng gera, blah, blah, blah. Naku, darating na si Lord, darating na si Lord. Pero anong ginagawa natin sa pagdating ng ating Panginoon? You know, as I meditate this word light, I'm asking the Lord, usually nagre-reveal ang Lord sa akin sa toilet. Alam mo yung pag, yun ang ano ko eh, <laughs> sanctuary ko, sa toilet. <laughs> pag nag ka, ay walang, di, di ba sa toilet ka lang may privacy? Di ba? Nakakahawa ka, nakakaawa ka naman kapag wala kang privacy sa toilet na lang, wala ka pang privacy. Okay? So, the Lord asked me, close your eyes. So, when I close my eyes, sabi ng Lord sa akin, what do you see? I said, Darkness. He then told me in my heart that a person will not be able to see any light if his eyes are closed. Would you be able to see light when your eyes are closed? Can you close your eyes for a moment? Close your eyes, everybody close your eyes. Now open it. What did you see? What did you see? What did you see? You saw light when you close your eyes? It's close. Then afterwards, I'll just tell you, afterwards, immediately when I closed my eyes, I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep. Kanina umaga to. Kasi nag-alarm ako na maaga na aga akong magising. Tapos sabi ko gagawa ako ng PowerPoint. I'm not so good in PowerPoint. Kaya si Pastor Rigi gumawa ng PowerPoint ko. I just, you know, did my assignment in the Word file. And then sabi ko, Lord, speak to me. Because I wanted the Lord to speak in my heart and give it to you fresh like a hot pandesal from, you know, from the oven. <laughs> okay, so this is hot pandesal from the oven. Okay, and uh, as, I, as I closed my eyes, I fell asleep again. And then immediately I opened my eyes and then the Lord told me, it's already morning. <laughs> it's already morning. And then the Lord told me, people who always sleep, okay, and will not ab be able to see the morning, they will not see the opportunity of the morning. People who always sleep will miss the opportunity of the morning. Amen. Sabi ng tatay ko doon, pag natutulog kami, at late na kami magising, sabi niya, pag nagsabog ng grasya ang Diyos, naubos na, tulog pa kayo. Amen. May mga ganun, you know, may mga tao na 48 hours matulog. By the way, ang, ang, ang ating, ang, ating katawan, kailangan lang niya. Enough sleep, 8 hours maximum. When you sleep more than 8 hours, that is laziness, my dear friend. Amen? You see, when you are sleeping, kaya sabi nito, awake, because when you are sleeping, you're not be able to worship. Would you be able to worship God when you're sleeping? Are you able to read your Bible when you're sleeping? <laughs> see? No. Are you able to testify when you're sleeping? That's why we need to be awake. Amen. Do you still have the appetite for spiritual matters? O pagdating mo dito, umpisa pa lang ng worship, inaantok ka na. Nilalabanan mo na yung antok. Sabi ko, nakakantok na magturo tong pastor na to. Amen. Alam mo, may suggestion ako sa inyo. Meron akong mint na nilalagay dito sa ano ko, ulo ko. Para, alam mo yung ma, ano ka, magising ka. Minsan, pag inaantok ako, lalo na pag nagdadrive ako at meron akong kailangan tapusin, nilalagay ko sa mata ko. Para maghapdi siya. Kailangan hapdiin mo yung mata mo para magising. Amen? You have to do all the things para, alam mo yon para magising ka. But kasi kapag tulog ka, everything is dark. Everything is dark. Amen? Kapag tulog ka, hindi ka makakapaglaban. Amen? makakapag intercessory ka ba at makakapag-deliverance pag tulog? Hindi, di ba? Kailangan gising ka. Kaya sabi ng verse natin kanina, Awake, O sleeper! Ang day binigay ng Lord para sa atin magtrabaho. Ang night binigay niya para sa atin magpahinga, mag-recharge. Hindi mo gagawing night ang day na umaga na tulog ka pa. Amen po ba? Di ba kapag madilim, doon lumalabas yung magdanakaw. At alam nyo ba, dito sa Dubai, may mga bampira. Doon lumalabas ang mga bampira pag madilim. Yung mga sumisipsip ng dugo. Kapag in-open mo yung light, ang dami nila. <laughs> mga surot. <laughs> diba? Ganun ang mga surot. Nakakita na kayo yung mga surot. Prominent kaya yun dito. Ayun yung mga national insect. 
Ang tawag nun sa mga hindi ay katmal. <laughs> Di ba? Tama ba ako? Katmal. <laughs> Di ba? Lumalabas yan sila sa dilim kasi they are parasites. Vampira ang tawag ko doon sa mga surot. Di ba? Naninipsip sila ng dugo. Darkness represents evil days. So, huwag tayong mabuhay sa darkness. Have you seen the blackout curtains? Ito mga to blackout curtains yan. Kapag wala lang ilaw dito, di ba madilim? You know, marami mga Kristiyano, okay? And then the Lord, as I woke up, the Lord asked me to open our blackout curtains. May blackout curtains kami sa bahay. Para at least kapag ano, uh, minsan napupuyat kasi kami dyan sa may mosque. Ah, umaga pala, alas 5.30 ng umaga. Hindi pa kami, kasi katutulog lang namin na alas 12. Eh. Ilang oras pa lang ang tulog namin, tapos biglang may ngangawa na. So, naglagay ako ng black curtain. Blackout curtain. Yung blackout curtain na yun, kahit na maliwanag na sa labas, kahit umaga na, hindi mo mapapansin na umaga na. Kasi blackout curtain. So, it always gives, you know, uh, dark ambience, dim sa loob ng kwarto. If even the hotels, they do that. So, yung blackout curtain na yun, yung binuksan ko, sabi ng Lord, buksan mo, sabi ng Lord sa akin, binuksan ko, Lord, umaga na pala, may light na. Ganyan ang mga ibang mga kristyano, sabi sa akin ng Lord. Yung iba, sa Johnny lang nilalagay ang blackout curtain sa life nila para lagi silang matulog. Amen? Ang hirap po kasi talaga ng nasa sleeping moment ng life. Walang opportunity, walang light. And in fact, you know, kapag natulog ka lang natulog, pagising mo, di ba nanginginig yung mga tuhod mo? Naranasan yun na yung matulog ka na ng sobra. Ang sakit ng balakang mo. Akala mo matanda ka na. Yung pala na sobrahan ka lang ng tulog. Kaya tinan mo yung katabi mo mamaya, pag angat niya, pag nahihirapan niya tumayo, na sobrahan niya ng tulog. <laughs> Amen? Amen. So, the last line in our main verse, in Easy English Version, it says, He will have the light that causes people to live. Yung light po na yan, Kailangan nagbibigay po yan ng buhay sa ibang mga tao. It says in Matthew chapter 5 verse 14, You are the light of the world. Like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. You know, when you have the light, hindi mo maikakaila yan na disciple ka ni Jesus. Everywhere they will recognize and they will know that you have the light. And this is the thing in verse 15. No one lights a lamp and he then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. So, dapat yung light po na meron tayo, nag illuminate yan everywhere. In the metro, in the night market, in our, in our uh, friends, kahit na mga uh, hindi pa sila mana ng palataya kay Kristo, dapat nakikita yung light na yan, nag illuminate yan, nagbibigay ng pag-asa, na kapag yung spirito mo, no, nagsalita, when you release word, when you release word, even if you did not, you know, quote anything in the Bible yet, the word is combination of language and the spirit right our spirit when 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 our lord have released the word in the beginning and he commanded all the creation by his word it has a spirit that's why the bible says the life and death is in the power of the tongue because that is not only a language it is a word with the language and the spirit and now, what is the spirit that is working inside of you when you release word? It gives life or it gives death. Two doors you are opening when you release word. A destruction or life. So now, maging aware tayo sa mga sinasabi natin at ginagawin natin. Amen? And you know what? Nakakita na ba kayo ng mga huling habilin? Ng mga bago mamatay? ba? Kahit sa Old Testament, Bago mamamatay sila, sabi niya, ito ang gawin mo sa aking anak na si Isaac, hanapan mo siya ng asawa. Ang hirap sawayin ng bilin ng mamamatay na. Yayao na. And this one, hindi naman namatay si Jesus Christ, na buhay naman siya, but nakasend sa heaven. Bago siya nag sa heaven, on the right hand of our Father, in Matthew chapter 8, 28, verse 18 to 19, He said this great commission. Hinabili niya to, ito yung huling habili niya sa mga tao, sa mga disciples. Hindi lang doon sa mga apostles, mga 12 apostles. 
Hindi lang po sa kanila, kundi sa lahat ng mga disipulo, lahat ng mga susumusunod kay Kristo, lahat ng mga gusto mag-obey sa Kanya, lahat ng mga gusto matuto sa Kanya. Ang sabi niya, Jesus came told His disciples, Who among you here are the disciples of Jesus Christ? Magtas ng kamay. Amen. That's lame. Magtas ng kamay sa mga magsalita lang. Amen! Amen. Oh, narinig ni Lord yun, ah. Disciple ka. Ibig sabihin, obedient ka sa Kanya at sumusunod ka sa Kanya at gusto mong matuto at ginagawa mo. Do you know that this obedience po ang tawag kapag hindi ka nag-obey? Of course. It's a contrast meaning of obedience. It's disobedience. So when you do not do what you're supposed to be doing, that is disobedience. Amen. So now, this great commission is the responsibility of every disciple. Amen. Now, check your heart if you are obedient or disobedient. Basahin natin. Sabi ni Lord, I have been given all the authority in heaven and on earth. Inassure na niya, nasa akin na authority. Therefore, therefore, basahin nga natin, go and make disciples of all nations. Hindi lang daw dito sa Dubai, hindi lang sa Pilipinas, hindi lang sa angkan mo. Of all nations. At sabi niya, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And then in the verse 20, it says, Teach them this new disciple to obey all the commands I have given you. Sabi niya, new disciple, ibig sabihin nagwi-win ka. Kasi wala pa sa kanila. Wala pa dun sa group nila. Hindi pa sila kasama doon. That's why they're going to teach them and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of age. In assure na, Lord, ibig sabihin, iti-teach daw natin, sabi niya, if I will paraphrase this one, sabi niya, go therefore and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teach them what I have commanded to you. What was his command? Go and make disciples, and preach the gospel to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teach them what I have commanded to you. What did he command it? Go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teach them what I have commanded to you. What did He commanded? Of all nations, and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teach them what I have commanded to you. What did He commanded? Wag nyo nang basahin, isa puso nyo na lang. Otherwise, magkakamali-mali pa kayo. Sige, sundan nyo ako. Go and make disciples, and... Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and teach them what I have commanded to you. What did He commanded? Go and make disciples and... And teach them what I have commanded to you. What did He commanded? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, ulit-ulit, it's a cycle. It's a cycle. Dapat alam natin kung anong kinamad ng Lord. Ito ang command ng Lord. Go and make disciples to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's a complete process. Hindi lang po siya during the deliverance. I know the two, you know, ministries that Jesus Christ have done is deliverance and healing the sick. But afterwards, He sent His disciple. He said this to them. So, hindi lamang po, hindi lamang po natin dinideliverance sa mga tao. Hindi lang natin sila pinagpipray na mahil ang kanila mga sakit. We have to let them know what is their real relationship with Jesus Christ? That they have the light. That this light gives life. And this light that is in us gives life. And so we tell them. And we disciple them to be like Jesus. To be like Jesus. And teach them what He has commanded to us. And we have to train them also to do what He has done for us. Amen. So ulitin nga natin. Go and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And teach them what I have commanded to you. What did He commanded? Go and make disciples to all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And teach them that I, what I have commanded to you. Amen. So magmula po ngayon, dapat 
ang worship service ng JCTD, kung di mo makahanap ng mas malaking lugar, dapat five times ang worship service natin. Amen? Amen. Gawin niyo pong busy ang lahat ng mga elders po ng church na to. Yung alam mong wala nang puwang ang demonyo para magkasala ang mga workers. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. So malinaw po, sabihin mo sa, sa sarili mo, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Jesus Christ did not say, maybe you are the light of the world. Or perhaps you are the light of the world. He is very concrete and firm. He said, you are the light of the world. Amen. Why don't you just stand on your feet? Thank you, Holy Spirit. As we worship God and, uh, you know, confirming to Him that His Word is really alive. Probably you may have some darkness in your life. Darkness in your relationship. God is giving you the opportunity now to use your Word and declare life in your life. Make this serious. God is coming back soon. What kind of magpapetics, petics? Whether you change or not, God will come back. Jesus will come back soon. And He will separate those who are not for Him. You know, I have one of my primary, her mom was just so strong. And uh, recently lang nilibing yung mama niya, in five months time lang namatay siya. Then she realized life is too short. Her mom was just so strong. And then the Lord spoke in my heart. I told her, you know, really, life is too short. If people who are living in a sin and just playing about their Christianity, they just realize that life is too short. And lakas lang ng mama niya. And immediately, after five months, detecting that there's a tumor in her brain because of the goiter, the fluids of the goiter spread out on her brain, she wasn't able to make it up. Napanate, namatay na po siya. She was just so strong. You don't tell that you are strong now. You don't tell that you're so young, you're so active and alert. If the Lord takes your life, what will happen to you? Will you really face your Creator and He will tell you, that was good? That was good? You can tell now. Don't observe what they are doing here. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and deal with the and uh, you know, let the Lord deal with you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do not observe what our music team is doing. Do your own thing. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Even even the music team here and the people, the, the brethren who are there outside. Ask the Lord now, Lord. Help me. Help me to illuminate everything in my life, Lord. Help me, O oh God, to see what is the real condition of my heart. Am I really having this light in my heart? Am I really living in the light? Am I really living in the day? Or am I making a day and night? You will be able to tell that. Open your mouth. And ask the Lord now, and if the Holy Spirit convicts you to kneel down, don't care about your, you know, fellow next to you. It is you're dealing with the Lord. Maybe some of you here are living in sin. Living in a complacent life. Living in a disobedient way of life. See, you will not be able to conquer if you do not conquer yourself. You have to conquer yourself. You have to conquer yourself. In the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, I demolish all the power of darkness in this place. In the name of Jesus, I command any strongholds, I command any robes that is connected to these people in the name of Jesus to die right now in Jesus' name. I rebuke any curses. I rebuke any works of the enemies that is trying to lure every Brethren, here in the name of Jesus, 
I do not allow you. Angels of the Lord, minister to, your, to the people of God. I pray that the Holy Spirit convict you. I pray that the Holy Spirit will do His work upon you. He wanted to do His work upon your life. Only you just have to open your heart and be willing, be willing to cooperate with Him. Cooperate with the Holy Spirit. I rebuke any spirit of slumber in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any spirit of slumber in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, anyone who is sleeping here spiritually, I command you to awake right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I command you to awake right now. Awake, you sleepers. Awake, you sleepers. And let the light of our Lord Jesus Christ shine in your life. It is not time for us to live in complacency. It is not time for us to live relaxedly. We have to act we have to act and do the work while it is daylight. Because during the night, we will not be able to, know, to do anything. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Flourish your word, O oh God, to the hearts of each and every one, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, that your spirit, O oh Lord God, move mightily, O oh Lord, in their lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May I please call on the VIP, the first time attendee in the front? Can I please call on the VIP in the front? As everyone is interceding, let the VIP come here. Everybody, everybody, please close your eyes and pray and intercede. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.